This is Ron St. Dennis with Acuity Solutions. I'd like to thank you for checking out this video. And as always, thank you for visiting acuityinc.com. I thought I'd take a few minutes to talk about the NX9 ribbon bar interface, roles and how they affect the ribbon bar, the anatomy of the ribbon bar, the command finder, hotkeys, and how to switch between classic menus and the ribbon bar interface. So let's talk about the effect that different roles have on the NX9 ribbon bar. If you pick the roles tab over here on the left, you'll see that there's essential roles and advanced roles. If you pick an essential role, you say, okay to that, you'll see that you have a certain number of main groups and you'll have uh, a certain number of subgroups and under these more keys in the subgroups, you'll have a certain number of um, options available to you. If you change to the role, to the advanced role, you'll notice that you might have more, you may have more uh, main groups and you may have more subgroups. And in many cases, you'll have a lot more uh, additional options under the more key for each subgroup. The next thing I'd like to talk about is creating user roles. So once again, if you're here at the roles tab and you pick a role, say you're using the advanced role and you want to modify uh, the screen layout, what appears in, in the dialogues and what appears in the groups and subgroups, you can modify all that through these options, through these uh, customization tabs. You can add stuff to the right and left uh, menu bars over here. Uh, and you can save that when you're done by simply uh, on the rules tab, right click, pick a new user role. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, you can select the applications that you want it to be applied to. Uh, it defaults to all. And if you click on save dialog memory, it will save any of the user dialogs that any of the dialogs that you've modified in this application. Uh, keep in mind that if it's a common dialog that goes across applications, it will save that dialog and you'll see the changes in the other applications as well. And so when you click OK, uh, you'll get uh, another folder. Well, you'll have the system defaults and you have the user folder and, and change it as, um, as easy as that. Uh, you can you can edit, you can delete these, edit them, uh, you can save it. So you can make modifications to it here right now and save the role. Uh, you can edit it uh, and change, uh, uh, you can re retain the uh, original layout or you can use the current session layout and that will give you uh, the same options as if you when you created it. So we'll, uh, we'll remove this role for now. So let's talk about the anatomy of the uh, NX9 ribbon bar. So across the top here, you'll have uh, all of the major groups uh, that are associated with that, uh, with that particular, with the particular application you're in. In this case, we're in, uh, we're in uh, modeling, but we have assemblies turned on as well. You can see we're in a modeling up here, and we have assemblies turned on down here as well. So. Uh, all of these major groups are uh, associated with that in some way. Inside each of those main groups, you'll have these subgroups. All right, so the, the names of those are right down here, context control, component, component position, general, uh, and there's a few other over here. Uh, let's go back to home first. Uh, so in the, in the home tab, of the home uh, main group. Uh, Direct sketch is, is a little bit different because it has this little box in here that has all of the functionality, most of the functionality uh, for drawing, for sketching. And that has a little sub dialogue in it that are a sub selection screen that allows you to scroll up and down. It also allows you this arrow here with a line across the top allows you to open it up and show everything at once. You can select from there and you can also scroll. And uh, and the one other thing I wanted to point out is this little bottom arrow, this little arrow in the bottom right hand corner on each one of these subgroups is the customization button. So that allows you to turn things on and off that are in that subgroup. You can reset the group back to the original. 
And uh, so if you're, there's something here that you don't use, you can turn it off. There's something that you use that's not turned on, you can turn it on here. So that's what that little button is. When I first started learning this interface, I spent a lot of time clicking on this button because I thought that additional functionality or options were under that button, and they're really not. They're, they're really under this little button. It's called the More button. So in any one of these subgroups, you could have this More button, right? And when you select this More button, it this is what shows you the additional options that are uh, available in that subgroup. Keep in mind that this is affected by the roles. So if you have an essentials role, you'll see less than the advanced role here. So basically, if you understand that what these little, each one of these has drop downs, so that there's, you know, that means that under the extrude, there's there's extrude and revolve. Uh, anything that has a little aerial to the right of it is a drop down, so there's additional options there. So it's really, if you look really close at one of these subgroups, uh, you'll, you'll start to get the hang of this really quickly. Uh, the one thing I want to mention is that the inconsistency here is on the assemblies main group. You get over, the more button is way over here to the right. So the more button actually, uh, actually has uh, all of the subgroups are listed on this one more button, which is a little bit different than the other um, main groups. So keep that in mind when you're looking at this. So next I'd like to talk briefly about the NX9 command finder. Uh, this is probably one of the most uh, useful but underutilized uh, tools in the uh, NX9 arsenal. So if you go up here to the command finder and you type in any command, it'll uh, and hit hit enter, it'll uh, It'll uh, search out all the all the commands. Now this is very very a very very good search tool. So you can type in just a few characters. In fact, in this situation, sometimes more is uh, less is more. So uh, when you when you find what you're looking for here, if you look at these, if you do a little reading here, you'll see that it tells you where it is on all of the all of the. Um, different uh, places. Uh, it tells you where it is in the menu, tells you where it is in the view tab, it tells you where it is in the border bar. Uh, a couple other things is that you can do from here. If you right click on this, you can add this to the quick access bar, which is in the upper uh, left hand corner with the save and the window button and all that. You can add it to the top border bar uh, in the bar where the menu is. Uh, this border right here, it'll put it right over here. You can add it to the bottom border bar. Uh, you can add it to the right or the left. I keep, I like to keep mine on the right. So if I add it to the right, uh, it'll put it uh, right over here, which is handy, close to the screen, and uh, easy to get to. Now the other thing that it will do for you, you can actually, uh, if you so say, say we're looking for something a little bit more uh, sophisticated, like uh, bridged. Bridge curve. Okay, so here, here's here's a bridge curve. Here's a cubic fillet bridge. So, it, it, like I say, it only takes. Uh, it doesn't. You don't have to type the whole thing in. Uh, and and the more or less you type in, uh, the more or less you'll see. So if we now we're going to see a few other options. And uh, if it can show it to you in the menu, uh, like here a 3D curve offset, it will actually drop the whole menu down, and you'll see exactly where it is. Right, and it also gives you an explanation. The other added benefit to all this, if it's uh, if you if you if you don't use it that often, you just want to find it once and use it. You can just left click on it, and it'll put you right into the dialog. So here we are, we're right there. So this is a tool that really is underutilized, in my opinion, and I think it's a great tool. And I I, I really started using it a few months ago very heavily, and uh, and I'm I'm suggesting that you uh, you give this thing a chance and uh, use it as well. So the next thing I'd like to talk about is creating hotkeys. Once we figure out where all our commands are and uh, uh, the stuff that we use the most, uh, uh, it's uh, pretty handy and pretty easy to create hotkeys so that you can uh, just have a, a keystroke sequence that will take you right to a command that you use uh, a lot. So I'm going to create a hotkey for for the uh, pan command. Uh, so if, if you right click in the gray area up here, you'll get this drop down, uh, which allows you to turn items on and off on the on the normal uh, uh, ribbon bar. But if you go down to the bottom and you select on customize, you'll you'll get this dialog that, that allows you to customize um, uh, a number of different things in the interface. Where we want to go right now is under the keyboard. If you go to keyboard, this allows you to customize the key, customize the keyboard. 
And when you look at the categories over here on the left, you have categories for selection, and then you have cat menu categories. So this is this replicates the menu uh, that's up here, right? So if you want to, uh, I know from Command Finder that the, the hotkey I want to create is under View and Operation. So all the, all the commands under that View Operation uh, menu are down here. So here's Pan. Uh, it also gives the background uh, uh, NX uh, command name. So if you, if you select on Pan, you go down in here and just hit an F9, and say assign, it'll assign F9. It's used in global. You can make it, you can select, uh, if you want it just to be used in the application, you can select it or globally. I like to use it globally, so I leave it there. So all you do then is close, close, and now when you hit the F9, you can pan. F6, of course, allows you to zoom a window. You can go to F9, pan around. F7 allows you to uh, where some of the some of the CAN keyboard uh, shortcuts that are uh, come CAN and NX uh, are there as well. So <clears throat> so that's how you create a hotkey. Okay, so the last thing that I want to uh, mention here is that uh, user interface preferences and how you can switch between classic uh, menus and the ribbon bar interface, and also how you can change uh, the way that the uh, uh, user interface looks. So if you go under File, uh, All Preferences, and you go under User User Interface uh, Layout, okay, this is where you go from uh, from the ribbon bar, where you can change from the ribbon bar back to the uh, the classic toolbars. All right. So if you do that, you'll see that it looks very similar uh, to what you had uh, in NX 8.5 as far as uh, the layout is concerned. You have the you have the menu across the top and all the icons. And of course, this you can customize and save as user roles as well in user roles. So uh, keep in mind, though, once you get here to go back, you got to use preferences up here. So you go to prefer preferences, user interface, and you can switch the layout back to ribbon bar. Okay. Now the other thing that you might, might notice, uh, uh, and I've had uh, uh, at least one complaint about this, uh, people don't like the the light on light uh, resolution or, or layout, and that's the recommended layout by by uh, Siemens. So uh, you can change that right here. You can go to classic. Uh, if you go to classic layout and apply that, it'll look more uh, like where we came from on NX 8.5. And if you turn on classic toolbars. Uh, you're almost back to where you started. So, uh, as just a, a bit of a side note, I, I like to learn uh, I like to learn the new stuff because, um, uh, especially the ribbon bar, because I'm thinking that uh, at some point in time this option to change back to classic toolbars may, and I'm not saying it's gonna, but it, it may go away someday. So, uh, the more that you knew, the more that you know about. Uh, uh, the new uh, ribbon, inter uh, ribbon uh, interface, I think, uh, the better off you're going to be in the long run.